Hi, welcome to Tempo Workout 4. First exercise, around the world dumbbell. Level one, you don't have to use weights. You can go around with a squat. If you feel comfortable, you can either add one or two weights to this. Level two, you can stay here with Jamie. Chest out, come up nice and high. And level three, you can add a hop. Good, if you even wanna add a crazy challenge, you can do a swing back kick. Good job, but remember this is, you got 30 more seconds. Good, you wanna feel it primarily in the muscles. You wanna switch that rotation now, you can. Start going the other way, so you work your muscles in a different way. Good, weight in your heels. Good, nice and strong, you got 15 seconds, awesome job. Good, really getting down low. Make sure when you get down low, you don't bend the shoulders forward. Keep that chest out. Almost there, you should feel those muscles burning. Next exercise, single leg squat. You wanna reach down right. So level one, you can have one hand on your weight and reach down. One hand on your hip, one weight in your hand, reach down. Level two, you can try to balance like Jamie. You can barely tap back. If you need to tap to reach the floor, you can. Feeling those glutes. Level three, you can swing the weight back. Great job. And go ahead, do that other leg back so balance is easier, right arm, and reach back. Excellent. Abs are tight. Good, navel towards the spine. Got 15 seconds. Good, and don't worry if you're doing your right or your left, just make sure to switch it up this next exercise. You wanna feel it in that leg. Really bend the knee, keep the weight in the heel. Two, good, and one. Let's go ahead, next, next side. So switch arms, good, other leg in front, and reach down. Excellent job, weight in the heel, level one. You can just lunge back, great job. Good, level three, balancing. And again, if you can do some at level three, that's fine. If you need to go back to level two, the main thing, this is agility and strength. You wanna feel those muscles burning. That's what's gonna keep your metabolism up, up to 24 to 48 hours after your workout. Great job, you got 30 seconds. Good, stop and stretch, shake it out if you need to. Excellent, we want you to work to that point where you can't do another one. That's how you know you're gonna get the best results. Great job, keep touching down. Navel towards the spine, chest out. Great job, level one. Excellent, no matter what level you're at, if you're feeling those muscles burning, don't base it on the level, base it on how you feel it. You are doing great if you're feeling those muscles. Next exercise, push-up rows. So what we're gonna do, level one, if you don't wanna get all the way on the floor, that's fine, you can just do a bench over row for us. Good, weight in your heels. You can do singles or doubles, level one. You wanna feel it in the back. Level two, you can be on those knees. And you can go down as far as Jamie. Good, if you can't quite make it down that far, that's fine. Good, this is your goal. Good job, a lot more difficult, level three. Going down to a full push-up, lifting it up. Excellent job. Now remember, if your weights get too light for you, which is not the problem here, you can always, you can always go faster. So you can always increase the intensity by either adding more weight or speeding it up. Great job, two more seconds, and one, excellent. Next exercise, bicep curl hustle. Level one, I just want you to march, bicep curl. Good, level two, you can go a little bit faster, bring those knees up. Come a little bit farther down so you feel those thighs just a little bit. Level three, good, you can get really low. Chest out, come on, let's go for it. Abs are tight, knees up. Good, keeping that form. If you need to get that breath, that's fine. Level one, good job. Now, if your heart rate gets up too high and you're not feeling those muscles, you can go ahead and just do it still standing, level one. Awesome, there you go, 20 seconds. Come on, Jamie, let's go. Excellent. You got this. Look at her feet, quick, quick, quick feet. Quick feet, five, go for it, four, 
three. Come on, Daniel. Two. Come on, level three. Come on, level one. And break. Get that water if you need to. Next, we're doing high intensity intervals. 30 seconds, 100% effort, 30 seconds recovery. First one is jump rope. Level one, if you need to be low intensity, stay here. You don't have to jump. If you don't mind the jump, level one, you can add a little skip. Level two, a smaller jump. Good job. Arms nice and strong. Level three, you can swing it back. If you need to march it out for a few minutes, that's fine. Just do as many as you can and recover. Great job, guys. How you feeling? You wanna get that heart rate up during that interval, but now is your time to recovery. So get that water. You wanna be bringing that heart rate down. Great job. Still with me back there? Still alive? Awesome. Let that heart rate come down. Getting ready for that next interval. Burpee turn. So here we go, level one, you're just gonna squat, reach up, squat. Level two, burpee turn. So you're gonna reach up and go back just a little bit and turn. Good, take it away. Excellent job, Jamie. Good, you can just stand and turn and add a hop. Either way, you just wanna get that heart rate up in 30 seconds. You can go full out with Daniel. Excellent job. Main goal is to get that heart rate up and recover. Great job, guys. Let's go ahead, jumping lunges. Arm up, arms up and down. So level one, let me show you a side view. You're just gonna reach, reach, reach. Getting that heart rate up. Level two, you're just gonna go down and up. You don't have to go all the way down level two. It can be more of a cardio move. Level three, you can go all the way down. Good, and level two, you're fine just to be here if it hurts your knees to go all the way down. So when I get that heart rate up. Good, so you can go quick with me or you can go deeper with Jamie, whatever gets your heart rate up the most. Next exercise and break. We're gonna do cross country, get that breath back. Good, how are we feeling? <laughs> Good job. Got 15 seconds. Remember, you want to walk around, you don't want to sit down, but you don't need to do a recovery exercise because we want to bring that heart rate down so that we can go back up to 100%. Next exercise is cross country. So here we go, level one. You can stay here with Kate. If you don't mind a little hop, you can add one. Whatever you feel most comfortable, but you still can go really fast, level one. Level two, you can add a hop with Jamie. Good, make sure your feet are going forward and back. You want those feet flat. You don't wanna be on your toes. Look at her feet, how nice and flat they are. Level three, you can do plyometric lunge jumps. You can go down, down, down. Come on, Daniel, we got this, come on. Good, blowing out. Good, for five, four, three, two, Break. Excellent job. Get that water. You deserve it. Get that water. Got one more high intensity interval. Getting that breath back. Next one is bum kicks. Make sure to stay at your own level. Here we go. Level one. Stay here with Kate. You can speed it up. Bring your legs all the way back. Level two. You can speed it up with Jamie. Notice how her heels are coming all the way back to those glutes. All the way. Notice Daniel, he's doing a few kickbacks and then a jump. So he's doing a few bump kicks. Just wanna get that heart rate up. Five seconds, good job. And break, get that water back. Get that water and get your breath back. Great job, guys. Excellent interval. Let's get that water. Wipe off that sweat. You wanna let that heart rate come down during this time. You don't wanna sit down, make sure that you stay standing. Wipe off that sweat. Excellent job. Good, now we're going on to mind-body exercises. 
Good, first exercise is a sunflower. Level one, stay here with Kate. It's gonna be right here. You don't have to bend down very far just to put a mild discomfort, working the obliques. Level two, notice how Jamie's coming down a little bit deeper. Chest is out, abs are tight. Level three, notice how deep Daniel is, bringing that elbow all the way down. Excellent job, really working the obliques, really working that core. Great job, chest out. How are you feeling, Kate? Abs are tight, navel towards the spine. Good, for three, two, and one. Double legs out and in on your back. So if you want to, you can be in an upward plank with Kate, level one. You can alternate legs up. Good, kicking out, excellent job. Now if that's too intense for you, level one, you can just hold an upward plank just like this. Excellent job. Level two, come out to the point of mild discomfort. You wanna feel it in your core, not your back. So if you feel it in your back, you're coming out too far. And level three, for more intense, you can come down and you can swing the hips all the way back and up, just like Daniel, great job. Down and come all the way up. Kick my hand, awesome. Where are you feeling it, Daniel? Right there, awesome. 10 seconds, blowing out. So this really helps at lower abdominals, that really hard to tone area and break. Ready for a break yet? <laughs> Good job. Next exercise is plank to down dog. So here we go. Level one, you can just hold a down dog. Good, you can just hold a down dog with Kate. Level two, you can come up to a down dog and then down to a plank. Level three, same thing, down dog, but you can go down to a low plank. So you can go down dog, low plank, good job. Keep those abs tight, Daniel, awesome. Weight in the heels, good job, level two. Good, notice how when she comes back into the down dog, her body is in a straight line. Her head is in alignment with her shoulders. Great job. So you can hold this bridge. If that's uncomfortable for you or if you want more challenge level one, you can decide to hold a down dog with your head in natural alignment. Good job. Excellent. Next exercise, on your knees. Here we go, level one though, you can be standing. We're gonna do back extensions. Level one, you can be right here. If that's too much for your back, you can have your arms across your chest. Good job. But if you want more difficulty, you can bring it behind the neck. Good job, level one. Now, level two. Good, coming all the way down to the ground. Chest out. Excellent, where are you feeling this, Jamie? In your back, good. So you wanna tighten those abs as well though, so it doesn't put too much strain. Notice level three is coming back and he's reaching all the way back to my fingertips. Good job, Daniel. And reach really opening up. Excellent, you got 10 seconds left. Perfect job. And extend. Way to go, abs are tight. Good, next exercise, here we go. Bicycle abs. So level one, you can stay here standing knees to the chest. You can also do sitting knees to the chest. The Kate's gonna demonstrate standing. Level two, you can stay here. If it hurts your back to come out as far as Jamie, you can just make your range a little bit shorter. And always, if you feel it in the back, you wanna angle your legs more up. And the stronger your abs get, the farther out you can go. So level three with Daniel, his legs are all the way out, bringing that elbow to the knee, good job. And again, you can, you can vary your speed, you can go faster or slower. But you really wanna feel that core, you wanna feel those upper thighs. You got 15 seconds to finish tempo four. Can we do it? Good job, good job. Five, four, good. Feeling those abs and break. Great job, see you next workout.